Renovated in the 18 in the early 1800s, um, this property was bought from William Penn. William Penn, who founded Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania. So it's one of the oldest houses in Pennsylvania. So did the house used to to belong to William Penn? It didn't. This this land belonged to William Penn. I have a lot of documents. It's in the historical society, like in the book. Um, he never actually owned the house. He owned the land and sold the land to a man from Italy, actually, right? Yeah. It was called the Solitude. Yeah, like the all the It was called the Solitude. Okay. Very interesting. But it was a smaller house, and yeah. then they built onto it in the 1800s. Yeah. So we have a lot of paperwork on this, a very historical house house and it used to have a that we used to be the telephone company right when they had to like dispatch the wires yeah. it was the old telephone dispatch right yep okay it's interesting so do, do, do you think at some point the government will come and take it over as a historical site the house i think there's there's some sort of documents where they can't do that if you own the land and own the house okay. no i mean they could but i don't think that other uh, houses that are more historical than ours. <laughs> right. You know, it, it, this is one of the oldest houses in Pennsylvania, but there's other houses that are just as old that are that had a little more meaning, like they were on the river, or they were um, a train station, or you know something like that. And there wasn't any famous person that lived here or anything like that, so we're probably safe from the government want in our house. <laughs> okay. But how do you feel when you spend time in a historical house like this one? I, I mean, I love it. I mean, sometimes when I pull up and I'm like, oh my gosh, because Dan and I didn't always live here. We just moved here like five years ago. And I always saw this house and loved it. And it was always like our dream house. And now that we live here, I mean, it's amazing still. It is a lot of work though. I mean, it's an old house, so things leak and break and there's always something to fix so with three kids and we both work and then help on the farm it's difficult <laughs> but it's still amazing yeah. uh, we love Christmas so at Christmas time um, we have like 10 Christmas trees we put up so we just started putting Christmas trees up uh, in September because it takes us that long to put them all up so I love uh, the Christmas season and December at this time of year in our house because it looks like it's made for Christmas, you know. Yeah, I'm sure during the uh, during uh, the snow season, it must be beautiful around here it's because so the house is pretty and then snow white all over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard to like leave and go anywhere when it snows. You just want to like stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's nice. I think it is my own, I think